to easy digital filing. In this video we show you how to create a CT600 filing and accounts for an extended year, which is a period longer than 12 months, and then submit it to HMRC. First, using the quick start dialog, enter your company name and enter the dates for your filing period. Check these dates carefully to ensure they cover the entire period you are filing for, as they default to exactly one year. Next, select your company size during the period, and then select CT600 and accounts. If you also need to file to company's house, please select this option as well. Since the CT600 cannot be longer than 12 months, two CT600s will be created to cover the period. However, the IRXBRL accounts can cover the whole period. Click Get Started, and three filings will appear in your blotter, two CT600s and one set of IXBRL accounts. In this example, the first CT600 covers the longer period, and the second covers the shorter period of nine months. The longest period should be first, as set out by HMRC. If you are also filing to company's house, the accounts can also cover the whole period. For more information on filing to company's house, please see our video linked in the description below. If you need to create a new filing for any reason, just go to the new filing button just here. It is up to you how to apportion turnover and income across the periods, but usually your records or accounting system will allow you to divide it up according to the dates of the CT600s. To go into more detail on how to fill in your CT600 and IXBRL accounts, please watch our other videos, they are linked in the description below. To attach your accounts to your CT600, in the declaration section in your first CT600, you'll need to set box 80 to yes, box 85 to no, box 90 to not applicable, and box 91A to your accounts for the entire period. In your second CT600, since the accounts cover the entire period, they only need to be attached once. So set box 80 to no, box 85 to no, and the reason in box 90 as submitted with separate return. Finally, once you've completed your filings, set them ready to file. Accept any warnings. Warnings will not stop you from filing. Only red error messages will cause your filing to be rejected by HMRC. And now you're ready to submit to HMRC. You can submit in any order, but it is advisable to submit in date order. Normally the CT600 with the accounts attached is submitted first, as if this is rejected it is better to deal with any errors from that submission first. Once both CT600s are submitted, you will receive emails from us with your IR mark, which is your digital receipt of submission and later you will receive an email or letter from HMRC. You can then download and print your returns by clicking here and here. You have now submitted your extended year filings. Thank you for watching.